I'm still setting up this little example for a multi-clip, but I've thought of some things. And you know you can click on the clip to select it and then drag in these endpoints like this to make a selection zone. But I'm going to just go ahead and actually I'm going to use this one. I'm going to click on it. I can use the J, K, and L keys like I could in Final Cut Pro 7 to scan through this very quickly. I've got four taps on the L key now going very quickly. Actually I like that little section where it turns around on the branch. So I can back up right there and pause it. Then hit the I key to mark an endpoint and then play through this. And right about there. I'll just leave it there and mark an out point. And then I'll type Q to add it to the storyline. And when I finish this I'll be back. Okay so I've added my four clips here and this is just going to be a small demo. Make a little bit more room so we can see. Now while I'm working in the storyline area down here I'm going to type command A to select all and then in the transform just go ahead and turn those on I'm going to scale these to 50 percent and now I can arrange each one of these doesn't matter the order Okay, now that I've got all of these set up, I'm going to purposely add a gap in this one so I can show what happens. Now when I select all the clips here, you get stuck with this. Inspecting six items because of the gap generator and you don't want that so if you have gaps in your clips there's a couple of things you can do I believe you can turn this into a compound clip and then when you select all then you get access to this video panel another thing you can do let me undo that is if you have a slug you can go click inside your gap, type the up arrow and mark an endpoint and it will select the entire gap like that. Select the slug and type the B key to replace edit it and then whatever length the gap is it will be replaced by a slug which is actually video and not a gap which is different and so when I select all I still have access to this video information. I'm going to undo that. So we have the four clips up like this. And like I said, if you select all, then you can undo the transform or redo it by typing Command Z to redo it which means you can convert this 4-up layout to a canvas view at any time while you're trying to edit your cuts. And if you select clips here and type V then you can temporarily remove them while you examine another cut so I have the, this little kitten look out to the right right there and we can cut in the daisy now when the four up view and the transform icon selected I can just select the clip by clicking on it and then command B will cut it then I can go forward 
and make another cut and then I can just go in and add that to the storyline and if I'm done with that I can either select the rest of them and type V to disable them and leave them there in case I change my mind later or delete them right now I'll just leave them there and now I can select all undo the transform and play back a canvas view now playing doesn't do anything to the history state of the video so I can check on this and then when I want to go back into start editing again I can just do command Z to undo and the reason why you might want to do that is because when you drop the piece of video into the storyline you notice that it creates this missing section of the clip because it's been replaced you have the original clip on the storyline here it's been replaced so it doesn't show in your four up and then it's back on here and it will be replaced again as you drop more clips into place so select all undo transform and then play gets you the canvas view and then you can go back to your edit view with undo as long as there's no gaps in here and if there's a gap you can either make compounds or use the slug and replace the gap as I showed you now one more thing I'd like to talk about let me back this up some you have your four up here let me turn these back on and you have access to your video panel you can click one of your clips in the 4-up display and do color corrections so I'll, if I want to adjust the exposure of these I can just click on it and I can do visual matching for each one of these um, let's go this way so that you have all of the clips you have in your however number of clips you have in this case it's a four up display and all at once you can see them and then balance the clips side by side and then you can always select all uh, actually you need to select one and get out of the color adjustment so there's more useful things you can do here with this fake multi-clip kind of setup that's very useful, it's very quick and it just depends on you know if you're willing to take the few seconds it takes to set it up hope you find this useful, I'll catch you on the next one